who do their dirt. They do all this haram stuff. They experience every aspect of life that a person would ever they want. want to, but they want a what? They want a pious oh. virgin wife. Give me a pious virgin wife, maybe from back home. And you know what happens? Within their marriages, what? Turmoil. She, she had actually reposted your story like a, a year back or something. You see that? And someone had had tagged you to say look she's posted on her stories yeah. but you didn't know who she was and you said oh look some bollywood person has tagged me i don't know who she is and i said oh she's a, actually a big boss contestant from like yeah. season four or something and i'm sorry about that honest to god i'm sorry about that and sometimes i'm a real jerk you know and and it's not cool sometimes i speak to you in manners that are super disrespectful but i expect you to be respectful towards me he's showing everyone that no matter what your past is once you step in the way Over of the allah yeah. you know it doesn't matter imagine imagine marrying me now like imagine if you had just met me now it wouldn't work why, why wouldn't it work? Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum. And we have a very, very, very special guest. I'm, I'm not going to, I promised her right on camera as well that I'm going to make sure that I'm not speaking as much because I tend to do that and I read those comments and I don't mean to do it. But I'll allow her to do the intro and set up what we're about to talk today. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? So, I mean, as far as I'm aware, we're going to be just having a little chat about Sana Khan's from Big Boss, her marriage. So stay tuned. <laughs> It's hard not to talk, honestly. It's just really hard not to talk. So yeah, um, as you guys know, uh, Sarah Khan recently got married. You told me about that. Yeah, uh, it came up on my thing that Mufti Menk had liked something. So I went on the thing and then I seen a picture of, like, obviously I go to click on it to have a look. And then I see, like, pictures of loads of them come up because obviously I watch Big Boss and stuff. So she, she like, when something of hers gets put up they tag big boss uh -huh. so it comes up on my feed so anyway i see like a picture of it's like a small video clip like of her in white At first i'm like oh it's probably not her like it could be anyone and they've just tagged her mm. then i click on it and i see the video and it's like half of her head or something and then she comes down and i'm like okay good for her mashallah that's all i thought at the time didn't think much of it did, then, you, did you see the spouse at that time or no I seen him and it looked like a religious dude, but at this point I wasn't hundred percent sure. If it was, it was her. even her, okay. Yeah. Okay. Go I just on. I was like, you know, they do these videos sure. and they like tag people sure, and it's sure, wrong sure, and stuff. Sure. Didn't think nothing of it. But then I was on Instagram and I seen that Mufti Menk had liked something and then I went on there and it's Sana Khan's page. And then I'm like, oh my god, she's actually confirmed she's got married. And at that point I'm um, I click on it and as you do, you check the comments in it, like everyone does that. So I clicked on it. We all do it. Stop playing, acting like I you don't. Know. I don't read comments that people have written. I like to see what other celebrities or other verified people say. So I clicked on it, and as I'm looking through, like, oh, which other big boss celebrities or which other, you know, like, people have congratulated her. As I'm going through, I'm like, oh, okay, this was a person on Big Boss with her. Oh, this is probably a co-star. Blah 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 blah. Keep going, and then I'm like, what? Even Mufti Menk just congratulate her wow that's like big yeah. and that's when i called you and i was like wow you know wh why that's really awesome the mufti make is congratulating her because it shows support it, sh yeah. it shows that she's trying to better herself and people acknowledge that you see to the common eye people might think that the first time that she's publicly come out and become like religious or something like that was when she started wearing the hijab or said i'm quitting right mm -hmm. but you pointed out something to me yesterday i'm not gonna even tell you what it was i didn't know but my wife pointed it out to me what was it that you pointed out to me about instagram something with her with her and me oh she she had actually reposted your story like a, a year back or something you see that and someone had had tagged you to say look she's posted on her stories yeah. but you didn't know who she was and you said oh look some bollywood person has tagged me i don't know who she is and i said oh she's a, actually a big boss contestant from like yeah. season four or something see so you know to the common eye it just seems like oh she was trying this now but you see when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sows the seed you know you're just seeing it sprout right now you understand mm -hmm. But they, it was already sprouting underneath the soil. You get, get what I mean by that, right? Like, it was already, it just sprouted out the surface now, physically showing, but it was already growing. Yeah, well, the thing is, uh, uh, 
At that stage, she probably Sorry, wasn't there. Make sure it's recording. Yeah, it's going. At that stage, she probably wasn't mm. there. Yeah. So the thing but is, it was but still growing. Yes. yes. So she was at some stage. Everyone is at different stages of their their iman. So the thing is, at that point, she was at that stage where she was looking into Islamic lectures, looking at mm. people, getting more knowledge, mm. and sharing. That's a big thing. You're yes. sharing something and someone could benefit from it. She's going to get the rewards for that. So talk to me more about that then, right? Like Because I think that was the original intention of this video. It was about making sure that, you know, she's used as a symbol of hope, right? It was something along those lines. So tell us more about that. No, you you said to me that yeah. she's given you were gonna make a video and you were like, yeah. Oh my god, she's given hope to all, all the religious dudes. Religious out there. Dudes and by the way, there. that video's over and, here. If you haven't checked that, go watch that. Yeah. All religious dudes that you know are obviously practicing, which means that they're keeping the sunnah beard, you know They're not doing haram. They're looking yeah. the part, basically. Yeah. I mean, you could be practicing but you may not look the part. Yeah, true. Right? True. But true. when when you said that you meant the people that are like to the T. Yeah. So, you know, they don't. Because you don't expect one for them to get married to like women who look like that. No disrespect. I hope you all understand what I mean by you that. You think that they mean? would be getting married to another woman. They're pretty. They're beautiful as well. Because you see, like a celebrity is a different type of pretty. You understand what I mean by that? Like, I hope you all understand what like I mean. You would be expecting them to be getting married to a Nakabi simple you know but yeah. my point was when yes. you made that comment yes. that how oh you know she's given hope to i said well no realistically if you look at it from a different aspect he's showing everyone that no matter what your past is once you step in the way Over of the allah yeah. you know it doesn't matter you know everything is a clean slate so yeah. he has accepted her for everything that was from before yeah. he he's ignored that he's accepted her for who she is right, right now, now. What, yeah. what, you know, what level she is at right now, irrespective of you know, what was in her past. A lot of people get married, what not, their, par their uh, partners don't even know their past. Mm. And that's a good thing. You're supposed to keep you know, your, your faults and your mistakes hidden. Mm. Okay, so I'm not saying that you, you're supposed to tell, but no, no, for someone hidden. like her, it was out in the open because she was in the public eye. Yeah. yeah, so anything she did, any, he, you know. You could know about it. Exactly. You, you, you know, it, there would be a, a story about it. There would be pictures, videos, you know, anything she went out, it's getting papped, etc. So the point is that, you know, sometimes people are like, oh, I want a, a pious wife. I want a, you know, virgin wife. She, she, she shouldn't have been clubbing, drinking, this, that, the and other. Like in a bubble. She was just in a bubble. She was in a bubble. She, <laughs> no, she never did anything. She's Miss Goody Two Shoes. <laughs> the thing is, realistically, in life, that is like that's those expectations are like and can i just say that the opposite is also true with like the proper like i'm gonna use the word harami out there there's some gande bande out there you know what i mean there's some bande out there who do their dirt they do all this haram stuff they experience every aspect of life that a person would ever they want, want to, but they want a what they want a pious oh, virgin wife give me a pious virgin wife maybe from back home and you know what happens within their marriages what turmoil yeah not working out it doesn't work out. Why? Right? And it's not because someone would quote a verse of the Quran where it says, you know, the impure for the impure. No. It's because you're trying to fake someone you're not. You haven't really resolved yourself. Change yourself for the sake of Allah. But you're just thinking that, oh, but I, I don't want a woman who's done all this dirt. Like you have all this. But miles look at on that you, intention. You want That's yeah. your intention. Yes. So what barakat is gonna be in that marriage? No barakat at all. Yeah. No. You know what's so funny? This camera that you guys are watching on right now. Uh, it was starting to give me a little bit of problems. It's a new. It's it's not a new camera. I bought it secondhand, right? It's a camera. It's a Canon G7X Mark III, right? And you know what, guys? Honest to God, my wife is over here. I don't even have to say anything whatsoever. How, how much expenses go into my videos and things like that? Like we nearly had like an argument, a fight yesterday. Well, I wouldn't say an argument or a fight. I we like had, that she buffers it in Lord's. We had again. a yeah. discussion and a disagreement. A disagreement. No, more of a discussion. More of a discussion. It was a discussion, and there were parts of that dis discussion where we were both in disagreement with each yes, other. We were. But in the end, we got to the best solution yeah. of. Yeah. The the reason I'm saying that, guys, is because uh, my wife mentioned something about baraka, and this camera has been starting to give me problems. I bought it secondhand, right? I didn't buy it for the official seven hundred dollar price or seven fifty, whatever it was costing at that time. I probably paid like maybe four hundred, but it was like almost new condition. Anyways. 
but it's starting to give me some problems. The lens has a little bit of a flare in it. I don't know if you notice that there's some dots sometimes here and there. I notice them too. Anyways, um, I'm just like, listen, what if I just do a cheeky one? You know what I mean? Try to do some sly move to get a new one replaced on this one. Even if that means calling Canon and stuff. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I should call Canon. What did I say to you? She said to me that just buy a new one. Because if you made your videos with that camera, what barakah is going to be in your videos, right? And let's suppose, let's suppose, imagine this. Imagine it does increase. The views increase and everything increases. I come on the day of judgment. And you got nothing. Nothing. Why? Because I used a stolen camera. And the thing is, what's the point of camera, yeah. for, you know, ringing up Canon and making a complaint for no reason when the camera is secondhand anyway? Yeah. You True. might as well spend the money, invest, and Allah's going to put more give you more. Yeah. yeah. And guess what? That gives me a second camera angle as well, maybe even a third one. Okay, we go back to this point over here, okay? She's given hope, mashallah, to so many, uh, you know, like women out there that, listen, there can be good people who accept you for who you used to be. You yeah. Hey, sweetie, go inside. Why is her nose bleeding? It's not bleeding. It's a marker. Close the door, me, John. Ugh, I wonder what she's doing to the walls. She has something on her hands. It's like yellow. It's like, it looks like Mandy. Go inside, please. Okay, anyways, let's ignore her right now, okay? Hey, let's ignore her for now. She's gone, alhamdulillah. That's what happens, right? You ignore something, it leaves, right? <laughs> she's leaving too, but she knows us. Okay, anyways. So, she's given hope to a lot of people who have pasts. Have a past. Well, she hasn't. Yeah? He has. Well, no, no, no. I think she has to some degree as well. Let me tell you why. Because she's showing the women out there that if you truly turn back to Allah, Allah is going to honor you. And Allah will fix it for you. You, you get what I mean yeah. by that, right? And you know, that's what Surah Al-Asr is beautiful about. So you see, Surah Al-Asr talks about uh, how Allah subhanahu wa swears by time. And a specific type of time, time that's depleting. And he's telling us that all of human beings are in loss, right? Except for those who wake up, become woke to this idea. They believe, right? Amanu, they believe in this message message that they're running out of time. They, 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 they are losing, right? And they have to believe in that message. And that's what Sana Khan did. And anyone, by the way, who makes a real resolution or change in their life goes through this process. They wake up like, yo, like time is running out. You get what I mean, John, right? And then after that, they do, uh, uh, you know, good amal. They do good things, right? To make up for all their missed time. Right? And then what, what do they do? They tell the haq, how much da'wah has she been giving on her page, right? Encouraging women to read the Quran and memorize surahs and things of that nature, right? And then she's also been patient. How many people would try to roast her about her makeup? Roast her about all these things? Oh, you're not wearing it properly. You're doing this, you're this. But she's patient. And this is what happens. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees the sincerity and rewards her. Mm -hmm. True or false? Yeah? Okay. Is that the video? I don't know. What are some other thoughts that you have about this? Or anything else? It doesn't have to be about this. It's your time. Uh, I mean, I just... I mean, I wish them the best of yes. luck. And may Allah bless their marriage. Yes. And protect them from evil eyes. Uh, because, you know, obviously... She's... She, people are like saying, Oh, look, she's showing off with her makeup. And why would anyone post pictures with... Their, their wedding pictures. They were trying to get a mufti. The thing is, there's, there's two things, right? The first thing is she's had her makeup done by someone. She's had her jewellery, her clothes done by someone. Those people have taken those pictures because they want to probably advertise it on their pages for women. Someone has probably stolen these pictures and just uploaded them. Yeah. You, have to think, you have to think the best of someone. You don't, you don't think, oh, she did it to get attention. But the thing is... What, what mufti allows their wife to be on... And yeah, just yeah, just wilding out, bro. Wilding out, wilding out. Listen, change comes gradually. Agreed. Yeah. It takes time for changing, right? I think that you would also are, like you would agree to this that you've changed a lot. Yeah, you've changed a lot. Right, you're not the same. You know, when I met my wife, my wife was like a wild stallion. I had to like, you know, she was. She'd go crazy. Like she wouldn't let anyone sit on top of her. So like, you know, you ever seen those movies like Black Beauty or yeah, Spirit, yeah, yeah. the whack movie Spirit? Right, like no one can touch the horse. Like that. That's how my wife was. Anyone, she'll come after your throat. She'll come grab you. Right, and I have the counter example for when she didn't do that. Like that just showed the growth in her. Yo, anyone, she's not taking no mess from you at all. True or false? Right, like yeah. you, you wouldn't take nothing from anyone. Right, then comes SQ. With my cowboy boots on Right here With my hat on Got my lasso Of what? Of love I just lassoed her with love And I just continue to bring her Right? I'll be honest with you I've become Growingly impatient with her 
I have. And the reason being is just like I felt like I should be past the lassoing. And this is some advice to Mufti, uh, you know, Anas and myself out there as well and anyone else with their wives out there. It's just like the reason she was changing is because the lasso was with love. Now the lasso has changed into something else. You get what I mean? Like it's changed something else. If I go back and put, make sure that my actions, my words, my speech, my, 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 my thing comes from a place of love, even though it does. But it's more known that it's coming from a place of love. I'm more gentle. I'm more patient. People roasted me in that video where I posted with the Christian who a uh, Muslim owns Christian in Times Square, whatever I posted that. Like, SQ, you're so rude. You're so this. I know. I'm not the best person. My wife can be a witness to that. I'm not the best person. My wife knows my hidden secrets. But the thing is, like, with yeah. you, you you get so engrossed into, like, editing the videos, getting content out, yeah. that you become impatient with yeah. everything else around you. Yeah. So your tolerance levels are very low. More Sorry, more your tolerance more. levels are very low. Yeah. At times, not all the time, at times. And I feel like lately... The past, like, probably five, six months, maybe your tolerance levels are a bit lower. Not with me, I mean, in general, in general with everyone. You know what? I can say this earnestly. I think from the past two months, maybe even three months, alhamdulillah, I think ever since I started going back to work, I think I've become a little better. Yeah. I feel like I have, right? Because I've left the house and I'm actually interacting with people. And I feel like I'm becoming a little bit more free in what I do. And I think that those out there listening to this will see the freeness in my videos a lot more too now. I'm not too worried about a title and making it so raunchy and clickbaity and all that yeah. sort of stuff. That You know what I'm saying? I, That's when you were getting yeah. really... Because the thing is, you, you were getting frustrated with yourself. I was. And then what happens is that frustration bleeds out onto the people around you. You project your frustration onto others, you know? And thank... You know, alhamdulillah, baby. Like you were understanding to do that. You know, a lot of women don't. A lot of women won't. You know, would you believe me if I told you that YouTube has ended a lot of marriages? Would you believe me if I said that? Some popular I, I, influencers out there, right? I wouldn't know you, as per normal, but I know that you mentioned no, it to me before in the podcast. Yeah, so I'm not, I'm not saying obviously any names, but what I'm saying is... No, like, no, I don't know who it, they are. But. Yeah, but like, isn't it... It's not... It's not a dream to imagine that it has done that. You understand? Like, this is what it No, do. I can see why it would happen. Why, why would it happen? Because, like, this is... You have a full-time job, which is teaching. Yeah, yeah that's your career. Yeah. And then you have YouTube, which is another full-time job. Okay? Then you the have, I treat it. And then you have a family. That's another full-time job. How are you juggling three full-time jobs? You can't. Mm. Some, something has to give. And for most people... It's probably the family, and that's why when you've said it to me before, you, you know, you can count, you know, how many people's marriages have ended because of YouTube. You know, I'll say this. I have the blessing of marrying her before I became anything on YouTube. I'm the one that came up with the name for your flipping YouTube. Yeah. We, you know... She has so much ownership and stake in this as well too. And I forget that sometimes because sometimes my mind is going at a million miles an hour. You know what I mean? And... I have to rein you back in. You do. You see, now she is the person with the lasso. And I'm the wild stallion, you know? And I've, and I've told my wife this and my wife knows this as well. You know, and that everything she said, by the way, is a thousand percent true. And that's why my wife and I, and, you know, we had the blessing and honor of being married before any of this. You understand? So we spent time together. We, you know, we enjoyed each other's company and we, we see each other for who we are. You understand? A lot of times, imagine, imagine marrying me now. Like imagine if you had just met me now. It wouldn't work. Why, why wouldn't it work? Because your attention, your focus, everything is on this. But you should have known that before marrying me. I get that, but it wouldn't be realistic unless I moved in. Uh, right? From me sitting at home, I'm doing my own thing with my family. I, when you're seeing me, you're only seeing me. Mm. Or you might be, yeah, like filming or whatever. Mm. But that doesn't affect me because I'm seeing you, I'm spending time with you. Okay. But when you're living with someone 24 hours a day and they're doing that all the time and... I can imagine if it's a newlywed couple, yeah. there is going to be a lot of frustrations, a lot of arguments. Yeah. And if it's a new, like, you know, one, two year marriage, 
is not going to withstand it's it. Tough. It's tough. So let me, let me say this, right? So if a person is trying to marry someone who is like this, right? Like they're into the dawah. They might not be like uh, subscribers, you know, but they're into the dawah and all that sort of stuff. People who are like practicing and you know that about them and they've made that clear about them. What should you anticipate? You should anticipate that this is going to be their second wife. That's it. That's because it. they're going to spend a lot of time editing they're going to spend a lot of time filming they're going to be on their phone a lot mm. and if you're someone who is extremely jealous or extremely me 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 is not going to work you have to be you have to have your own separate life as well in a sense like you've got to be doing your own thing you can't be just looking at your partner all the time because they're not going to have time for you all day every day that's, that's just that's, the reality. That's the and, reality and, and, of it. And, this, and the thing yeah. is, we, in one sense, like say for example, there's partners who do like you know, uh, women, they do uh, you know, f uh, fashion YouTube yeah, yeah. or makeup and stuff like that. You know, I can understand a husband getting frustrated with that, but when it comes to dawa, you can't really get frustrated because this is for the betterment of your ahira. Wow. So if wow, you're marrying right. someone and you know that they're doing it for the dawa scene. You need to like. You need to be on a different level. Can I, can I just say this and ask you this as well? Do the women, the spouses, get a reward for being patient? Yeah, they do. Right? Of course they do. Because, Allah is the most merciful. He gives rewards for everything. We wouldn't. And this is where the men need to understand. We wouldn't be able to perform in this manner if it wasn't for a strong unit. You understand? Like if I had to worry about if my fridge was full. If the things have gotten cleaned, if my children have ate or dressed, you understand? The if bills I had are to paid. Worry about that, or the bills are paid, the rent, the, the trash is taken. <laughs> my wife does everything. The leaves are the, the shovel, the, the snow has been shoveled, the thing has been iced, the car. Light been bulbs washed. are getting changed. Yeah. If, if I had the electricity has gone out, someone has to put a fuse in. <laughs> She's exposing me right now. Listen, if I had to worry about these things, the house needs to get moved and packed and set up. <laughs> hey, the front door's fallen off. Can you put it back on? <laughs> the roof needs to get fixed. There's oh a leak. God. Oh, go on. Off you go, love. <laughs> listen, listen. Off you go, love. I'm editing a video. Can't have the roof fall on my head. <laughs> no, look, in all fairness, obviously, I do step away from it for important tasks. We're joking over here. But the point is, right, like... Like, I wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for this. You know what I'm saying? And it takes a special type of woman to be with this type of dude, right? And, it and the guys need to understand that, yo, they deserve more credit than we are giving them. And, you know, I try to find a way to include her because I don't want to sacrifice my, my, my marriage, my, um, my, my time with you guys, my family, my love over this. You understand? Because this isn't a sacrifice. It's a mission. You understand what I, I mean? I know. It's a mission and I feel like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent you as my companion to help guide me through the mission and my children as companions to guide me through the mission. And sometimes I don't express that to you and I'm so sorry about that honest to god i'm sorry about that and sometimes i'm a real jerk you know and and it's not cool sometimes i speak to you in manners that are super disrespectful but i expect you to be respectful towards me and you've called me out on it but in the moment i'm blind to it but you know what i'm really really sorry and and this is not because the camera is on i can turn that around you know what i mean be, but the truth is that allah has sent you as companions as guides for me on this mission you understand and just know that i do everything for the sake of allah and i do it straight up for my family as well you guys are the two biggest motivations in my life to do the best to squeeze Papu, you see how much i squeeze out of myself right i squeeze every moment i can i can for this you know the only reason i'm able to do that is because of you and you know and i do this for the sake of allah and i do this to make my family proud because the thing is most people just do the youtube mm. They don't, they don't have another job. Mm. And the thing Very is, true. your main job is the teaching. That's a full-time career. Okay? So you're actually doing two jobs. Like, you know, some people work during the day and they work nights as well. Yeah, yeah. some people do do So nights. you're doing basically that. And the thing is, I don't think most people realize that. They just think that you're sitting around all day at home filming videos it's and okay. editing them. It's okay. It's and, and you know what it is? That's where we get the reward from. Because Allah knows what type of, what type of 
uh, love, patience is required to do such a thing like this. Everyone's reward is different. And that's the fun part about this, John, that inshallah, when we go on the Day of Judgment and the Akhirah, we see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewarding us for this if we maintain this. If we don't throw our deeds away by backbiting against people and things of that nature. You understand? If we actually come to Allah on the Day of Judgment with these rewards. And guess what happens? One day, these are the types of conversations we have to have with our kids. You understand? And 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 we're trying our best to raise our children and stuff like that. And when I talk about like the kids channel and all that sort of stuff, John, it's because people out there need help. They just do. You know what I mean? And when they can see other people struggling with the same thing and them trying to be innovative with solutions to fix that, John, like that's a different type of reward. Because, John, we're changing the structure of the world from a minor age. And I know. I know Hasid, Ayn, all these things you worry about. I get it, John. But I promise that I'll do everything I possibly can to make sure that my children and my family is protected. you understand? I'll make sure every type of privacy policy is followed so that I'm there. No addresses, no nothing. Like I promise I'll be there. But John, we have to change. I mean, you know what I do in my day-to-day -day life with this, right? Remember that one person that yeah. called on mom's phone? Bro, people are crazy. Yeah, they like somehow got hold of mom's phone and rang asking for you. They rang on my mom's phone asking about me just to show that they could find my mom. <laughs> like what kind of sociopathic things are that? Like, you know, but that doesn't stop me from still giving 100,000%, you know what I mean? Irrespective of that, what, what I'm saying well, is- Well, after I dealt with them, I don't think they were gonna ring back. Yeah, yeah, she had to. Sometimes, you know, and, and honest to God, John, with the problems that I see people go through and experience, I know that it could have been solved if they had more of an identity at a younger age. Mm -hmm. So if I can help, my wife can help. My children can help. Help shape and sculpt the reality and the and the and the and the path of the ummah, inshallah, to come in the future. That's a sadqa jariya that goes beyond our understanding because we're literally working at the grassroots ground level by working with children. You understand? So it's not about because so that we could get views of money and sponsors. Blah, 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 blah. It's not like that. It's because we can affect and impact the ummah at a very young age. You understand? So yeah, that's it. I'll let you close it. As you can see, the other child has come over here as well too with hands that are probably messy. What is that? Is that marker? Yeah, it's marker. It's marker. Go wash your hands. Allah. Go wash your hands, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Thank you for listening, baby. May Allah reward you. Thank you. Now, go if you've made quickly. a mess, you're going to be in trouble. So go fix it if there's a mess. Go clean it up. Okay, go, baby. All right, guys. So um, we spoke a lot. We spoke a lot about uh, about the Sada Khan thing and Mufti Anas and all that. We spoke about some things of our own stuff. We, we uh, you know, pulled the curtain back a little bit. How was this experience that I tried not to cut you off? I tried my best. Do you feel like I, I was successful? I feel like the, the balance is always not right. This time you gave me too much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to oh, talk that you. much. I love you so much. I love you so much. I love you so much. May Allah increase you. It's like, uh, it's like, you know... One extreme to the other. May Allah, may Allah protect us, protect our, our marriage, our family and from, from all evil lies out there, from all types of black magic, from all types of everything out there and allow us to really further uh, the deen of Islam. And please keep my mom in your du'as. Yes. She's not been feeling too well these past few days. Please, please, so if you could please, please do, do a special du'a please, for my mom. Please Thank that. you. Please do that. Okay. Now... I forgot this last time. This is before we end it. So you have to understand, this became a 27, nearly 30-minute uh, video, right? Only the real ones are going to watch this, okay? Mm -hmm. So for all the real ones, I like giving them a little bit of a Amazon gift card, okay? How many Amazon gift cards are we giving for anyone who watched it this far? The first, how many people get five. an Amazon? First five people get an Amazon gift card. You already know, guys, this is it. I'm not going to tell them to watch other videos. Because more than likely, if they made it this far, they've probably seen all my videos already. Or they're discovering us right now. Um, thank you so much, babe, for being on this. I really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, I'm probably not going to be on for quite a while That's now. That's not true. She's going to be on tomorrow. No, because I'm, I'm I don't really, like... But she had a lot of fun this time. I hope No, so. I, don't, I don't like being in front of the camera, even if I get blurred. Guys, listen I find it me. so awkward. Listen, listen, guys, please, please, please make some du'as and convince my wife in the comment section. Send her some love. If you send her some love in the comment section, she definitely... No, gonna it's not going to work. It is going to work. Not. I want to be behind the camera, hey not guys, in front of hey it. Hey, guys, 3,000 thumbs ups tell me that my wife needs to come back on this uh, on this video with me yes i'm gonna wear a face mask <laughs> wear a face mask all right bet three thousand thumbs ups you come back no you need to be How many you more? always say three thousand okay, okay, it needs to be at least four and a half four and a half thousand that's a tough number i don't know if i'll get four yeah, and a half thousand exactly <laughs> <laughs> all right guys i love you all for the sake of allah uh and until next time assalamu alaikum